Yo, how's it going? I was just thinking about it. Is that I don't distro hop. I've never actually really distro hop. Like the only distro hop that I've ever done was going from Linux Mint to Arch Linux. And it wasn't even like I installed Linux Mint on my computer like bare metal. I installed Linux Mint in a virtual in a virtual machine. And then eventually I just tried Arch Linux in a virtual machine. I'm like, all right, I want to try this for real. And then that's literally how I went about it. But I don't distro hop. I don't even like I keep my config like basically the same. I don't touch anything. You can see that if you look at my videos from two years ago, my setup is roughly the same. I had one major change to my like DWM setup, but it's overall the same. Now, the main reason why I don't distro hop, there's nothing special that any other distro can offer me, honestly. I'm telling you again, Arch is genuinely just the best OS. Nothing particular interests me. Nix OS, don't care. Debian, don't care. Ubuntu, don't care. Like Gen 2, don't care. Like it's just Arch offers not only the most practical distribution, but it offers all that you can because it offers basically nothing. If you want to make Arch a very simple, just no brainer desktop, it's very easy to do that. You can use Arch install. You don't really have to think about everything. It just sorts it out, installs the whatever, like installs whatever specific setup you want, and then you're done. Or if you want to be very complicated, change everything, like, you know, be very custom about it. You can do that as well. It easily has the best package manager out there. You know, some people say, oh, Nix OS is better. It's universal and stuff, but I've literally never had anything that, and you know, people, and you know, maybe that's true, but I've never had anything that wasn't on the Arch repository. And if, if it wasn't in the Arch repository, then it would be in the AUR. And then if it wasn't an either of those, that literally just means that it's probably because it's some random GitHub wrapper with like five stars. Like, again, like sure, like maybe like Nix OS, like, oh, very cool and stuff. But at the end of the day, I've, I've never had anything that Arch doesn't. And it, again, even if I did have something that wasn't on Arch, it's not that complicated to like clone it. Like, is it worth to switch an entire distro just because there wasn't one GitHub wrapper in it? Like, I, I don't think so. So that's what I'd say. I'd say that it's literally just because it's so simple. It's because it has everything I need. And if it, honestly, if there was a distribution that I would switch to, it'd probably be something like Ubuntu. Like I'd probably just switch like down. Like I'd probably like just do something very simple. Just GNOME just work. Like I just probably just want something like that. I don't care. Like I don't want to mess around with at all. Just just work, please. What a lot of people don't understand is that they think that distro hopping means like changing up like how your setup looks but that's only the desktop environment. So it's just very like unnecessary. You don't need to do that. Like if you want to swap how your, if you want to change like how your desktop looks, you could do that from any distribution, even like Debian, like you can have a DWM setup on Debian or on Ubuntu or whatever, like it doesn't matter. Or you could have a GNOME setup on, on Arch, like no one controls you like that. Like that's Linux where you can just swap whatever parts you want. And then maybe you're thinking like, oh, well, why don't you just like swap your desktop environment every now and then. And honestly, like the only like swap I've done is KDE to DWM. Like I used to run KDE and then I just wanted to try DWM. And again, it just like, it worked perfectly. Like I, I've, I think that tiling window manager is genuinely our end game. Like it just works better than desktop environments. Again, like I'd only want to use a desktop environment if I was just like brain dead and I just like couldn't be bothered. Like I just wanted to work. Like if I had like a laptop or a computer that I just wanted to work, I didn't want to focus on it. I would just install some desktop environment, probably GNOME, Ubuntu, just keep it simple. But also, I'm not going to lie, sometimes I try and just kind of experiment, try something out. Like I tried out Hyperland. It's just, I don't know, maybe I feel like I've just genuinely found my ideal match. Like there's nothing that makes me want to swap. Like I tried out Hyperland and I just get annoyed. I'm just like, oh, it's... I think that's... The only setup I might swap to, like, I think that's the only thing that I might swap to is Hyperland. But besides that, I don't see anything else replacing the setup that I have right now. You know, even literally just now, I tried, I tried installing a display manager, but literally I just messing around with it. I realized, because what I wanted to do is I wanted to set it up where I could swap different like environments. I could swap from DWM to like GNOME to something like that. Like that would be cool. But it's very like dangerous. You could easily overwrite your files and just cause like a whole bunch of issues or headaches. From there, you'd have to just set up like it's probably better to just set up like different accounts. But then you don't have the same home directory. It's just there's so much like to it that's just like ah, it's just, I don't care. Like honestly, it's just it genuinely is best if you just want to save yourself time, time, and you don't want to gain like more gray hairs. Just find a setup that works for you. 
that you could see yourself using for like the rest of your life, ideally, and just just stick to it. Just genuinely just stick to it. Don't worry about customizing or anything. Like, just keep it. I don't know. And I also feel like I really like to. Honestly, I just really like to work now. Like, I really like to work. So any time that I feel like, oh, I feel like I'm wasting my time, it just really like it just really hurts me. I can't like I can't. It's like a very negative experience for me if I feel like I'm wasting time. And to me, rising like. I'm not saying that rising completely is like a waste of time. Like if you're just starting, then yeah, you have to get that like set up. But for me now, I feel like I have achieved that dream setup of mine. That like spending any more time like trying to find an even better setup, I feel like I just it doesn't matter and it, it won't even really affect me. But yeah, honestly, that's just my thoughts. Why the reason why I don't do any distro hopping or really change my setup at all? It's just honestly. I'm just an old man like i just i feel like i've retired <laughs> it's like i'm just i don't really i don't know there's nothing that interests me but honestly if you are a newbie and you're still like kind of like figuring out your setup like you know you can see my setup right here maybe you like how my setup looks like or you want to achieve something similar or you just genuinely don't know what you can like what to do like where to start then you can book a free consultation call with me we can discuss what you want what your needs are from there we can work together and we can help achieve your dream setup if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, comment. It helps me out. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.